Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now, I'm going to warn you in advance, this is going to be the episode where we go and check out on all of the courtiers. We may get into some uh, progression later, but that's going to be the main focus of this episode. So, as it is a new episode, we have two new people. We have Pete. He is an ugly drunkard who, uh, well, presumably was around the court while Umbrella was growing up. And has kind of surfaced to join in with some of the uh, politics of what's going on. And we have Garen Ladybright, a maester who, um, well, almost a maester who dropped out, went and joined a mercenary company as a healer, and has been fighting around Westeros for many a year. And then eventually um, he, well, he was fighting Aegon and all of that stuff. And he decided to go to a place which he thought would be safe from Aegon after his company was destroyed, the Iron Islands. Unfortunately, he made a very bad decision as we are now being attacked by them. Anyway. Let's go and look at all of the courtiers. So, who have we got? We need to, we're just going to check, like, do they, are they married? Do they want to be married? And uh, is there anything else we need to do with them? That's pretty much what we're going to do for all of them. So, Lindsay Stonecrow, you are not married. I keep forgetting to fix this. Oh, well, I guess he can just keep it at this point. Anyway, um, he is not married. He probably wants to be married. Um, is there anything else... Oh, wow, does he hate us? Foreigner, attraction to gluttonous, arbitrary, slothful. Yeah, okay, foreign religion. Fair enough, fair enough. We give him honorary titles. What, what was, what's he doing? He's just a courtier right now. No. So, I think what we need to do is we need to marry him off. Now, can we only marry him to Iron... Uh, to Drown Gods? It does appear like we can only marry him to Drown God. Okay. Fine. What are we going to look for? He is slothful, brave, he has a dog, he's scarred. I don't know. We can find him someone around his own age. That's definitely a possibility. Maybe someone just a little bit younger than him. How about... Um, I'm just going till I see someone that really jumps out at me. As like, this is somebody we want. Um, or somebody who would fit. I don't know. We could have two slothful people together. Being slightly gregarious. Asher Rivers. Um, yeah, I suppose he could marry Asher Rivers. That's not uh, out of the... Uh, you know, realms of possibility. There you go. They shall marry. Cool. Next one. Justin Benson. He... Well, actually, we can do... Uh, the person who prompted this was the person who made this character and asked for this person to be married. So, uh, I'll do them so that I don't forget them uh, in the meantime. So, who are we looking for? We're looking for... Around the right age. Um, and then traits. How about... Oh, wait, what are we looking for? Lustful, proud, content, greedy. I'm not entirely sure what we're f looking to fit in here. We can always do a patrol though if we need to. What's this? Sympathy for Westerosi. Interesting. Um, poor fighter, just... Nope. Greedy, authoritative, timid. Maybe? Um, I don't know. We've got uh, temperate, charitable, diligent, arbitrary, shy, depressed. Um, maybe that, that could do. We'll we'll marry her to we'll marry him to Zia, and it's a relative of a lord. So there we go. Right back to the list as we had it at the start. Justin Benson, he has a favor from a uh, from Dinald Fire. Okay, interesting. So he's currently our Castilian. He doesn't really like us. He's um doesn't like us because we're ugly, we're gluttonous, we're arbitrary, we're slothful, and we have a short reign. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, does he want to marry anyone? Possibly, yeah. What have we got? We've got Hunchback, Strong, Scarred, Reaver, Disfigured, Slothful. He is ambitious, so maybe he'd like to buy, uh, marry someone who is of a larger house. Is House Winch a larger house? Not really. Um, is House Kenning a larger house? House Kenning's definitely a larger house. Maybe he wants to marry into House Kenning. She is honorable, zealous, they share the same religion. She is content, but he is ambitious. That's not really a problem. Like, um, it just means he'll be the ambitious one. She's content not to be. Uh, paranoid, you know, I think Roel will do. There we go. Yes. Uh, now we're going to run for uh, it forward a couple of days before we do any more people. Just so we get a couple of these things done. Oh. 
My lady, th I thank you for having you me in your household these past years, but I must serve a higher purpose now. Lord Reaver Vickrin stepped me into his service, and I shall leave for Pike immediately. Yours, Regal. Okay. To the glorious Lady Brella, peace be with you. Accept your suggestion that Brandon and Zia get married. To the Honourable Lady Brella, honour blessings upon you and your house. Ex I accept your suggestion that Justin and Ruel get married. At age 22, Lord Josrin of Great Wick died. Uh, in the dungeons of King Aegon of Westeros. Oh, okay. So that now means that uh, Lord Urin is in charge of Great Wick. Cool. Right, so let's do some more marriages. So, Rakaro. He owes a favor to uh, Aegor Iron Reaver and Dynald Fire. Um, he is already married. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. He's kind of set. He is our Justicar. Um, nothing else I really want to give him right now. Meredith is married to Agor. Agor is married to Meredith. Mayford Mac is married to no one. Okay. Mayford, lustful, stubborn, brave, kind, gluttonous, drunkard. Let's see if we can. He has an honorary title. This is honorary title. Oh, he's bodyguard and commander. Okay. Um. Relieve commander. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that there was like a separate option for that. Uh, we should also think about a mercenary company at some point, but um. We'll leave that for just just now until we uh, we've got a little bit more money and we're in a better position. Right, marriage. Oh, there we go. So who's he looking for? I don't know. Maybe uh, this fashionable. Li oh, she's ugly. That's always a problem when you're trying to make arguments. Um, Eritrude, Bookly disposition, deceitful. Uh, maybe not. Kind, deceitful, charitable, gluttonous, arbitrary. That's kind of all right. That's not too bad. House Spar. Yeah, okay, you can marry into House Spar. Yes. Cool. Next one is Dinald Fire. He has a favor from Rakaru. Owes a favor to Justin and Mal Malus. Okay. Um, okay, he's uh, got a lisp, he's got a stutter, he's weak, he's shrewd, he's ugly, he's an architect, he's lustful, craven, arbitrary, diligent. Okay, uh, let's arrange him a marriage, I guess. So what are we looking for here? Um, I am not very certain. Maybe the timid one would work? He's a craven and she's timid. They'll kind of fit into the same kind of places. He's very good at stewardship. She's greedy. You know, that could work. Of glimmer, of the Tower of Glimmering. Okay. Well, marry. There we go. Next one we're going to go for is Asha. Wait, is Asha Rivers? All right. Yes, she's not a custom character. She's uh, the child of a custom character and we just married her off. Right. As Cheryl, Siegfried, Lewis is not one either. That's our son, Malus Blackfire. Has a favor from Dinald Fire, but apart from that, has nothing else going on there. He's our captain of the fleet. And uh, maybe he'd want to marry someone. Let's uh, go find somebody here. So, who are we looking for? Um, Maybe he would marry someone older? I don't know. Possibly. Or maybe what have we what have we got here? He's strong, giant, twin, scarred, kinslayer, diligent, zealous, ruthless, authoritative, cruel, proud. So proud again makes me think like powerful house. But apart from that, I'm not really into that. He's also a lunatic, so who knows? Um Maybe I don't know. Maybe he'd marry Tala fits, maybe? She's scholarly and bookish. Ah, uh, maybe not. He doesn't seem like the bookish type. What have we got? Honorable, humble, deceitful, just? Yeah, it doesn't really fit. Then we get too young to get traits. Kind, ambitious, honorable, proud, deceitful? Maybe? Maybe this one could fit? Maybe it's more her seeking out him rather than him seeking out her. Okay. Uh, the relative of a master. Yes. Go and marry. We're missing a council spot? Oh yes, we still don't have a drowned man. Of course. 
Um, right, so we stopped at Melis, and then we got Laios, who is blinded. I think I know the person for him. He can marry. If we get... he. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of new people he could marry. Interesting. Uh, but he can marry the ugly person, because he will not notice. That's my logic. Um... Oh, for some reason it didn't fill in her side. Lowborn males must marry noble women matrilineal. Oh, he's no he's um lowborn. Oh, so he could buy he could marry other lowborn. I see. I see. Right. How about uh Lavaki, the daughter of Ricaro? Um she is homosexual, which is probably a problem for them in the long run, but uh you know, she's zealous, diligent, charitable, lustful. He is uh, kind and gregarious. I don't know. They could fit. Let's uh, go for that. Right. Uh, now we're going to wait a couple days. To the uh, elegant devil Brella. Less upon you and your house, I suggest that Melis and Alice get uh, married. To the elegant devil? Why do we get that? Oh, is it because we're fashionable? Okay, I see. What was that? Uh, yes. To the clever Lady Brella, blessed upon you and your house. May I, I accept your suggestion that Donald and Esgrid get married. Uh, that's people being ransomed, people being ransomed. Okay, cool. Lord Lauren the Eagle has declared uh, King Lauren's invasion of the Iron Isles on Iron King Harwin the Cruel. Oh, okay. To the sweet devil Brella, peace be with you. I accept your suggestion that Mayford and Jonella get married. Cool. Raiders have arrived. Um... Yeah, to loot and pillage in King Lauren the Eagle's uh, County of Castamere. But this seems like a point that maybe we should start to uh, be raising up some men. But we are currently in full-on uh, matchmaker mode, so. Uh, so it was Laios. Brandon we already did. Barbary is not custom. Not custom. Cadwell Cod is not custom. And he's already our husband. Lannis. I could do it on this one, actually. I just realized I have them all spe special interest. Rago left. Yeah, so it'll be Lannis next. Lannis is a genius. Strong, attractive, lustful, diligent, proud, ill. Oh, okay. Ill's not a great one for him. Um, who would he want to marry? He would want to marry... Maybe... I don't know. I'm just... I am uh, at a loss. He is Faith the Seven, which is slightly different, so not a zealous person. Maybe this stubborn, uh, arbitrary, lustful person? That seems reasonable. She's a little bit older than him, but, you know, that could work out. Right. Uh, yes, they can marry. Although I believe in his backstory, he did have a wife, but uh, not added in. So, I don't know. Maybe that can make up for it. Uh, right. If he doesn't like it, he can tell me and I can go and fix that. Right. Pete. Pete is an ugly drunkard. Maybe he's married someone and that's how we are starting to know about him. Maybe he married Esgrid. Uh, no, because he's lowborn. Okay. Maybe he married Gwynis. Whoever Gwynis is. She is zealous, honorable, and honest. Okay. Right. And Garen Ladybright is the last one. Um, Would he want to marry someone? I don't know. Let's uh, assume yes. Let's have a look at who we got. How about maybe he can marry Esgrid at last. He is uh, lustful. He's, I mean, he's proud, but he's been marrying into a more powerful house. He's diligent. I don't know. I, I think they could fit. I don't think they're completely against each other. There we go. Married. And that should be all of them. Yes. To the heroic Lady Brella, late blessings upon you and your house, I say, I accept your suggestion that Pete and Gwyneth get married. To the Honourable Lady Brella, peace with your suggestion, I accept your suggestion that Lannis and Harma get uh, married. Uh, to the sweet uh, devil Brella, may live in harmony and contentment, I, suggest you, I accept your suggestion that Garen and Esgrid get married. Okay, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. I'm surely with child. My husband will be pleased. Oh, good. 
Right, um, well, I think that we should raise up some raiders and go and cause havoc in the Westerlands. So let's raise up some here, raise up some here. Do we have commanders? We have Mayford, who is our only current commander. He can do it. We'll stick him on the boat, and let's go cause trouble. I forgot to set the looter tag. Let's head back to base, everybody. Oh, at age 41, Jorah Stark was killed by a rabble. Okay, so he was... A second son of King Torrent. Okay. Set looter tag. Get on boats. Right. Now we'll head back over to the Westlands. We've won the Siege of Raynette. Okay. Well, someone who we have special interest has. Okay, so they got an army up there. They got an army over here. Is this just the AI being unable to figure out boats again? I think it might be. Uh, is anyone else at war? We're also at war with Aegon. Who's actually losing some of his wars. The Stormlander Wars is in favor of the Stormlands. Uh, Harwin War is in favor of Aegon. And the Oldwick Independence War is in favor of Oldwick. Okay. Maybe we could steal some money from these ones. Like in here. Like Oh, there's a lot of money in Seaguard if we could get there. Let's uh, go to Seaguard. Let's uh, run away the moment we see any trouble. At age... 24, King Jonas of the Mountain Vale died of grayscale. Anything else missed? And Shar Aaron also died. So, the new ruler of the Mountain Vale is King Hubert, uh, who was unrelated to the previous king. Oh, I mean, apart from being an Aaron. He is... Um, what have we got? We got Jonas the Reluctant. Had a sibling who was Ronald the Bold. Okay. But yeah, it must be a cousin. Okay, cool. Right, we'll keep sieging. I uh, want to switch it to the other view. There we go. Once it finally lets us. We'll just uh, steal some money here. And then we'll get out of here as soon as possible. Nobody's coming to attack us. Nobody's coming to attack. There's the Lannisters. Okay. My lady, thank you for having me in your household these past years. But I must serve a higher purpose. Now Lord Reaver Vic can accept me into his service. I shall leave for Pike immediately. He is Spymaster in Pike. Oh, after we found him such a lovely wife. Okay. Right, uh, we've got a little bit of money. Let's uh, get out of here. Let's uh, continue down the coast. See if we can find anything along here for us to get. Ricaro just died of poor health. Okay, so he's no longer our Justicar. We have a position. Oh, we have a couple of positions. We have a commander and a Justicar position open. Justicar. Well, who wants to be Justicar? Uh, you want to beca uh, become councillor. He wants to be on the council. Our Manfred is our um, vassal. Okay. Fair enough. Um, but Lannis wants to become Justicar in particular. Um, I guess we could have him be our Justicar. That's fine. Um, and we'll have him improve relations with our liege. We have like a special... We have a spare... Oh, it's a it's priest. We don't have any spare council slots. We have a priest council slot. Which is unfilled. Right. Head down here. Let's see if any of the La if Lannister men have gone somewhere else. We can steal some money from there, but it's got a good fort level. Uh, we get a lot from this one, from Case. Let's uh, drop in on Case. We're probably going to have to leave very quickly after getting here, so. Agar Rivers is called in a favour of Meredith Lynn. Interesting. Um, right, siege continuing. Get out here, get out here. Bail, 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 bail. 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 Get on the boats. Yeah, okay. They got out. They got out. That's fine. Uh, let's continue. Uh, let's just go back home. Let's reinforce our troops. We had a bad fight. We'll go reinforce. At age 23, King Hubert of the Mountain Vale died of grayscale. Oh, so they're all kind of just dying of grayscale. Being righteously imprisoned, Malus Blightfire. We'll look at that in a second. He has a sibling who is now taking control, King Kyle, who's timid, a squire, brooding, and idolizer, but most importantly, does not have grayscale. Makes him uh, much better than the previous option. So, why can we righteously imprison you? You're trying to see Alanis of Naga Hill dead. He's trying to kill his wife. Well, that's just not on. Uh, oh, also we didn't finish. We didn't fill our commander slot. Our commander slot will be filled by Justin. Uh, he's our Castilian. No, 
But Agar is our guardian, but has no other place in the council. So I guess Agar can fill our other commander slot. There we go. Well, I guess we're going to try and imprison Malus Blackfire. We got him. Malus is locked away in my dungeons, uh, waiting his fate. Well, we need a new captain of the fleet. Our captain of the fleet will be... Uh, it could be our husband, but uh, that's not good for gameplay reasons. Um... I see your good point. You should probably be our regent husband. Uh, I see we can't change your regent. Interesting. Lennis could be our master of fleets. Or Manfred. Manfred's only slightly worse than Lennis, and he wants to be on our thing, and he is a powerful vassal, and he is drowned god. I think he fits just a little bit better. And he can train children. Cool. Well, let's uh, head back and then we'll call the trial. We got our 30 gold. Let's expand our troops, expand our boats. Let's hold a trial. Malus Blackfire has demanded trial by combat as summoning his champion to Saltliff. He will remain in the dungeons until then. Okay. The guards drag Malus Blackfire up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice. By right of blood, uh, birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. Uh, you have that right. I'll select someone to stand for his lady. Who will be my champion? Well... We can say none at my court are suitable, and then we can get 30 gold for uh, uh, someone, or we can have Sigrid stand. I have Sigrid, it's your chance to shine. You're a trained fighter, you're going up against a formidable, a skilled fighter, who is also strong and a giant. I wish you luck, Sigrid, in this life and the next. Sigrid steps forward. I'll stand for you, my lady. Fight well, Sigrid. You watch in horror as Sigrid falls to the floor, Melis Blackfire's sword grievously wounding him. The prisoner takes his leave, walking out the doors with a smile on his face as the entire court looks on in disbelief. Melis Blackfire has been released from prison and is now a rival for some reason. A castle finished construction in uh, Castle Rock and we have a daughter. Well, he is our rival. Whose court did he join? He went to the Valyrian court. He went to Dragonstone. Very suitable place for him to go. Our daughter, um, we're going to call her Frenya. Um, we could call her Frenya, I suppose. Or we could call her Arwen after our mother. We'll call her Frenya. Frenya. Oh, we had two. Oh. Well, this one will be called Arwen then. There, we had twins. Okay. So, um... Uh, Arwen. There we go. Well, we have two new children. I'm going to let the time move on just a tiny bit. The regency for Lady Brella of Saltcliffe has ended. I finished my education in diplomacy. I found the lessons rather tedious. We are now a naive appeaser. And we can do things like pick character focuses, pick ambitions, go on a reaving. Doesn't seem like something we'll be doing quite yet. And we need a new sworn shield. A couple of sworn shields actually because uh, Malus was one as was Siegfried. And they are one left and the other is dead. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.